you expect in a job like this. Really, in the house when they're injecting it, it's not much more noise than if the water taps were running into the garden. There we are, so have a look at that's how it sounds. That's going on. How does it sound in this morning? The room now as the wall has been pressurized and you can hear the sound level. It's only quarter past nine. They're going quite well, quite fast. That was the inspection hole. And this is the hole size that we inject the granules in through. It's a hole once they've sealed it. But as that mortar is drying, it's matching yeah, it's more of the natural colour. I don't think you can see anything once it's no. fully dry. Yeah, you look in the conservatory, they don't lose that as well. The mortar right. they've been using but in that. Down, yeah. yeah, we could do with a good shower of rain to clear the dust afterwards, yeah. couldn't we? <laughs> Supposing you know, where it gets to, there's one of the holes in the conservatory. That would take a little, like I say, take a little longer to dry because it's not in the open air, but. The temperature gets up in here, that will soon dry. More injection going on. Now we're moving around the house to get away from the noise as required. Yeah. Not that it's as bad as I was expecting actually. I thought it would be rattling around the house, but 
the injection yeah, sounds. If you've got the garden tap on, it sounds like that anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder what the sound would be like up in the railway room here as they inject the granules, but um, having got up here, they appear to have stopped doing it in this area. <laughs> I also wondered about um, whether any of those granules would appear in the loft. Now that, that could be them now injecting, so it's not very loud. Anyway, yeah, I've not seen any granules appear. I wondered at the top of the walls whether things would spill over into the loft, but um, no sign of anything. Okay, let's continue to graze quite contentedly. Train services seem to be continuing, quite unaffected. You're actually cleaning down the ledges, isn't it, when you finish? Yeah, it all gets cleaned down with wash. Wash down the conservatory with the hose pipe in a minute. Oh, well done. Well service. If you didn't wash them out, I guess it would go hard in there, wouldn't it? Yeah, right. <laughs> So you've probably got enough granules in there to do another house later today? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a look at a, a, a capacity indicator to know how full it is? No. You just hope that it's okay. The van. Yeah. The van probably will do about sort of 320 metres, square metres worth. All right. Service. And how many metres have you used here today, do you think? Sorry? How many metres have you used here, square metres? Uh, about 130. Yeah, you've always got a bit in reserve then. Fire up for five minutes, please. Just got to do a smoke test on it. Okay. So the what is it? Just a test that the um, airflow is correct. Is that the idea? Yeah, it's just a test that the flue isn't obstructed by bead. Yeah. Um, it never happens, but it's just a possibility. Yeah, theoretically, yeah. Because yeah. it's probably like a aluminium liner is up through the chimney, it and, be, yeah. and some of the beads it's can get in the cham in the chimney area, can they? Yeah. Well, you never know. No. It's just a Test we got to do yeah. with the edge of the house, it should have an, uh, a flu going up. Yeah. See that for a minute, let the flu warm up. Yeah, and what are you gonna? You've got something in the pliers there, what's that? That's a smoke bomb. Oh, I see, all right, 
And you can see it off. Up through the chimney. All right. Yeah, so if you get a draw going up through the chimney, yeah. everything's fine. Great. So, um, you need a certain heat to make for that to work, yeah? It's just good practice for it to. Um, yeah, just get the, the air currents flowing, yeah. Yeah. And it would just billow it into the room if there was any serious blockage. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I mean, yeah. you've got a good colour flame on your gas fire. You've yeah. Got a nice blue flame on there. Mm. Interesting. Good sign, anyway. But no, that smoke wasn't drawn up through the um, flue. Mm. It means you've got a bit of a problem. <laughs> no. It'll it'll happen one night, the last thing on a Friday afternoon. Yeah, that's all it's doing. You see you can bring it up quite far. Mm -hmm. You've got a really good draw on that. Well hopefully then we won't have to use the fire so much from now on. No. <laughs> With insulation. If you do you won't be leaving it on for very long. No, that's good. That's a sure fact. Alright, let's uh let's go now. Alright, fine. We'll quickly uh find a place to put that. I'll quickly run out the door that. That's the final test I guess, at quarter past ten. That's been within two hours since our arrival. Much quicker and efficient than I was expecting. And the final check that all the holes they drilled in there filled up. Yeah, all correct. Just going to pull away. Good job done by half past ten. Just checking back with the office.